Hey guys, what's up? V8 Merc here, and I want to do a quick little review on this Monarch UCC 309x40 um, rifle scope. Got this one from opticsplanet.com for, it was $298, I think, yeah, $300 free shipping, and then it went down to $260, so I got a little price adjustment, but normally you'll find it for about $300. And uh, let's go ahead and unbox this and show you guys what it is. Well. If you're wondering what UCC means, that means ultra clear coat. Might as well show you guys some stuff on the outside. Uh, it means ultra clear coat. Uh, this scope will work with uh, spot on technology. This is a BDC radical, not a Nikoplex. Um, you'll see the BDC, it's right here. That's basically what it is. Pretty good for uh, quick target acquisition and um, sending rounds down range. With limited, with uh, within a short period of time, without doping your scope on the fly. So let's go ahead and open this up. Got pretty much the standard stuff here. What's this? Full lifetime warranty, warranty card. And I guess this is ten dollars from Nikon. Probably just uh, oh, it says you have to register it, and then you get that. And then this is the manual. And here's the scope itself. Let's pull this manual out. And oh, there's one more thing here. There is a cleaning rag. I guess a microfiber or cotton terry cloth towel or whatever this is. I don't, I'm not sure of the material, but just to clean up the lens. That's pretty nice. Now here's the scope itself. Really clean, uh, flat black or matte black finish on it. It's got these lens covers which are all right let's see yeah, it's a little tight right now it's actually kind of pretty smooth give it a few turns and it gets a little bit better so it is three to nine and here it says US patented BDC long-range hunting reticle and it's got a focus adjustment right here I believe it's supposed to be four inches of constant relief eye relief or three and a half. Uh, what does it say over here? Made in Philippines, three nine by forty. Nikon Monarch UCC. Now these uh, Monarchs that have ninety five light trans ninety five percent light transmission, kind of one of the top of line models they have. Uh, I think a Nikon Gold or Nikon X is even better than this. But there's also the Pro Staff and the Buckmaster, which are below this. I think it goes Pro Staff and then Buckmaster. Could be the other way around. I'm not too sure. But this one is pretty much high up there. It, the only difference is the lens quality when you start looking at scopes in the same price range. or um, Well, not in the same price range, but within $100 of each other. So you got to look at what you need it for. And this is 95%. That should be pretty good. It's going to be going on this AR right here in the background. And I have a scope mount for it. Uh, the Nikon M223 scope mount and you can check that review out on uh, I'll just leave a link right here and you guys can see the review to that and so what else is there that's pretty much it for the scope but I do want to go over a couple of things on the packaging which I wasn't too happy about now it might be hard for you to see but you can see these uh, lines of wear here and here and it's all it's not even folded correctly and then in, looks like it's been worn out. I'm not too happy with the packaging. I don't know if it's on Optics Planet's part or if it's on um, Nikon's part, but it looks like this was a used item and even the inside of the box, like this is all messed up right here. This is not, this is nowhere new that the box is, this is nowhere near that the box is new. But the scope seems to be new. There's no mount, there's no scratches here, there's no, there's no wear, nothing from scope rings. What I think it was is that they took the box in the old scope and got you know got rid of it or fixed it or something and they put a new scope in the old box so I wasn't too happy with that you know when I buy something new I want to see that it's new I want to make sure everything in it is new and um, another little gripe I have this is probably a really big one when you spend three hundred dollars on a scope you kinda expect to have three hundred dollars worth of material and if they're gonna give you something to protect your scope with they should give you something that's decent this I don't find to be decent. It's you know it's kind of crappy. I'm just gonna probably end up going with flip-up caps, which is probably what the whole idea was. 
you know, they figured that, well, people are going to get the flow of caps anyway, so why, you know, spend more money on these kind of lens covers? Might as well go cheap. I think that might be the logic there. I'm not too sure about that. So there's a couple of things I have about it that I don't like that are kind of negatives, just basically the packaging and then this. This really bothers me. But all in all, the scope is really nice. Nice finish. There's no uh, defects in it at all that I can see. Nice smooth texture, really good matte finish on here. And it says Nikon here, and here's the Monarch logo right there. And then I was expecting some uh, larger turret knobs, but I think the newer ones, the tactical ones, come with the tactical turret knobs, and you can always buy them. As a matter of fact, Spot On Technology from Nikon will make you a custom set of turret knobs for cer certain set out distances according to the caliber and the specifications of your caliber, and you can get knobs that you can put on here. Uh, for the specific rifle and everything like that, which is pretty cool, but it costs about a hundred dollars for the two knobs So if you got the money you may want to do that if you're a serious shooter uh, a serious uh, competition shooter or long-range hunter uh, These uh, adjustment knobs here are pretty nice They have a little bit of knurling here so you can do it without a tool And then you loosen the screw and you can set it back to zero once you get your whole scope zeroed out Which is all nice Let's give it a couple turns pretty solid lockup I'm trying to turn them in between. Yeah. So there's a very little play in between them. You know, if, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Like, that's one click. That's about three clicks. And then if you try turning a little bit within the click, it's really not moving. It's basically the skin on my hand is moving. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, and same thing with the top. So that's the scope overall right there. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it, again with the exception of the packing, but the scope itself seems to be really nice and I think it's worth the $300. And once I get it on the rifle and shoot it, then we'll really see. And if you're looking for the mounting video and the overall picture of how it's going to look on this rifle, um, I'll leave a link right here and you can see that video as well. If you have any comments on this, uh, or comments or questions on this scope, anything you want to know about it, uh, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I'll answer them. I'll be more than happy to help you out. All right. Viet Merc out.